Valiant has been in the news a lot. And I mean, there's just been a ton going on with this company. Um, its market cap has kind of collapsed compared to where it was um, a year or two years ago. Um, it's down a just a, a massive percentage, and it's been name checked. You know, it's been name checked in Congress. Um, prescription drug pricing has been name checked on um, on the presidential campaigns, and so there's just a lot going on with this company. Todd, let's go ahead and go through the history, kind of how we got to this place, and then we'll then we'll answer the question: How to think about Valiant today? Sound good? Absolutely, that sounds great. Yeah, I, I think that most. Most of our listeners have probably heard um, Christine and I chat a little bit about Valiant in the past. Maybe you've read some of the stuff that we have up on themotleyfool.com. Um, but to give a little bit of quick background for people who may not be as familiar with the story, Valiant Pharmaceuticals has built itself up into a major pharmaceutical player by using a strategy that involves buying existing medications, repricing them higher, and then relaunching them. And that strategy, as you can imagine, has been has come under a tremendous amount of fire in the past year, uh, following revelations. Uh, I guess you could say stemming from uh, now infamous Martin Shkreli's uh, turning pharmaceuticals bid to buy or uh, acquisition of Daraprim, a 60-year-old drug. Uh, to which they increased the price by 5,000%. Now, Valiant didn't go as far as that. Not quite uh, that far, but... No, but you know they are being held accountable for what some people think is an egregious uh, price hike uh, on two heart uh, disease drugs that um, Valiant had acquired early in 2015. Those two drugs, Valiant increased the price on by 537% and 237% respectively after they bought them. So as you can imagine, uh, that kind of put them under the microscope um, as you know, media attention, politicians, and payers all started to swarm and say, this isn't fair, um, these price increases are ridiculous. But wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, uh, there is more, and what what's happening? I mean, they, I mean, Valiant really has been sort of the opposite of the gift that keeps on giving, right? It has just been the story that just keeps getting worse. But go, go ahead. It's kind of like turning on the room and, and finding it full with turning on the light in the room and finding it filled with cockroaches, um, you know, and has seeing them scatter everywhere. Yeah, um, you know, uh, the scrutiny that got the light that got shined, if you will, on Valiant. Um, led to the discovery that Valiant had been relying on a specialty pharmacy known as Philidor uh, to fulfill some of its prescriptions to patients. Philidor was basically um, substituting wherever possible the Valiant's uh, more expens expensive branded drugs instead of lower cost generics. Um, an internal review that Valiant you know, conducted determined that, yeah, they probably should have been using Philidor the way they were. So they've since gotten rid of that relationship. But, you know, the, there's been all sorts of other things that have come out since then, including, you know, some concerns that maybe the accounting practices uh, at the company are suspect. Um, there could be a restatement, uh, uh, relatively minor, but still a restatement of, of revenue from 2014 into 2015. All sorts of questions basically being raised that ultimately now have led to the departure, uh, soon departure, if you will, of their CEO and the uh, kind of I guess you'd say the the the, the brain behind this whole buyer buy reprice uh, relaunch strategy, Michael Pearson.